Today we are continuing our playthrough of the Princes of the Apocalypse. Uh, the story so far, the party has been uh, entangled with the cult for a very long time. Um, they originally just kind of stumbled into their activities, but over the course of, of their adventures, um, the, the cult has become very frustrated with, with the adventurers who have been their foil at every turn and have actively started trying to eliminate them. They've sent assassins to try and kill them. They've sent uh, uh, messengers to, to entrap them. And uh, now the party has went on the offensive. Having us already assaulted the, the Cult of the Crashing Wave, now they are in the Temple of the Black Earth trying to uh, route them out as well. And after having traveled quite far through the temple and dealing with all manner of difficulties, that is where we are picking up today. Alrighty. So, you guys uh, just finished a long rest. And... There we go, got him set. I think he had to AFK his kids. Um, just finishing a long rest, you guys were in the room where the Andro Sphinx was being held. And uh, what are you going to do now? Are there any other doors to this room besides the top? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there is. I totally hit it, though, because uh, <laughs> I didn't want you guys to just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> um so so looking around oh it's just there's a door <laughs> out of curiosity what are these statues uh the one here looks like um uh, a goliath and he's got a shock of, ex of horror on its face and the other one looks like a, a halfling. Um, it appears to be wearing like a leather armor. It's carrying a dagger in its hand, and it's crouched low, like it's uh, you know trying to be stealthy. They're very exquisitely they made. Lifelike, <laughs> really lifelike. Huh? Uh, not lifelike. Just you know, they're they're very detailed, fine craftsmanship. He's on to me. Uh, While well, we've got a little bit of downtime, I'm going to explain how lucky everyone is to have experienced the majesty of the Far Realm and how few people even come out of that experience sane, let alone, you know, enlightened. <laughs> Take extra slime. Temp HP. I shall refuse my 13 10 page. <laughs> Kranoff was not inspired by that speech. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then what? Roven is going to listen to the door. Listening to the door, uh, you don't hear anything. I'm going to open the door. Okay, before he opens this door, I want to explain to you guys, the viewers, what's going on here. Uh, this is a Medusa, and that's why its vision is visible on the map right now. That is to help me and you guys understand which way it's currently facing, okay? That way we can see who can see it. Okay, so you open the door, and there's a man here with his back towards you. Uh, he's just kind of standing in a room full of more of these statues. And as the door creaks open, you see his head perk up, and he turns slowly to face towards you. As he does, um, I would say that uh, definitely Godfrey and Roven and, and uh, Cranoth as well. You guys get a good look at this person. It looking like this. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> so, uh... Wait, you said we got a good look at him, right? Yes, you're you're looking right yeah, at right him. Right into his eyes? Right into his eyes! <laughs> so, I need Can you three <clears throat> to immediately... <laughs> immediately... I'm Make a con save. You will have to make it. I'm blind. No! <laughs> you do not! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> w would I have to make it since Robin's in the way? Yes, you would. <laughs> so Robin's just standing here like, what's going on? I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, okay, Godfrey, that is a fail. You are immediately restrained as you, uh, you, you begin to feel your body stiffen. And those of you standing near him can see a gray pallor beginning to creep up his legs. Restrained. Okay. So, uh, he's standing here, and he's like, Hello. It was so incredibly fortunate to finally get to meet you. Meet who? And I step outside. <laughs> so you just, you you have no idea what's happening. So you just step outside and, oh, go ahead and make a con save. All right, so you pass, um, and then you see he's looking at you. His snake, <laughs> um, I don't know, start moving because you get you guys know initiative is coming. Um, <laughs> so he he looks at you, and he's like, ah, "My manners, I'm, I apologize. My name is Marlos, Marlos Ernrail. I am the prophet of the Black Earth, and you guys have been." Quite problematic for me. He uh, reaches to his side and pulls out a giant iron war pick, and, and he brandishes it. You know, and, and as he does, he, he kind of sees the gleaming uh, iron as he looks at the rest of you with a smile. You should feel honored to finally meet your end at my hand. Go ahead and, uh, yep, roll initiative if you haven't already. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, geez. Robin, you are the first in combat. So what would you like to do? I'm gonna get up on this. Well, crap. That wasn't at all. I'm gonna stab him. Yes, you can. Uh, okay, uh, 28. That so is a hit. A hit. I'm going to attempt it. To... 136. I need to make a strength check. Um... Uh, so what, this is for 17? It gets added to damage, right? Yeah. Okay. 17. <laughs> he goes prone. And then stab it again. And then off it with that. For 10 and 8. Okay, he glares. Well, not that you would see that, but he's not very happy. He, he calls out. And he says, Attend to me, my servant! 
Major Domo Noxus, attend your master. And as he does, you see one of the shadows that is kind of emanating from uh, one of these statues begins to elongate and approach towards Rovin. Oh no. The totally secret shadow demon you did not see in the initiative tracker. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, there was a demon? Oh. Yeah, he's right there. So this thing runs forward. And uh, uh, it, as it was hidden at the beginning of... Well, no, you have... Why? Would I be able to tell it was there? No, nah. no, because it is. You have tremor sense, and it wasn't moving. So no, screw it. You're hidden. It was hidden. I'm gonna get you. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> um, I'm going to use my new maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going to use parry. <laughs> Can you? It's a melee attack, right? Yeah. Does it just reduce the damage? Oh my it god. It does reduce the damage. Uh, you use your reaction spin one that's reduced damage by a number you rolled plus your dex mod. Taking eight damage. So. <laughs> okay. Is that plus your dex modifier? Yeah, that's why you said eight. Uh, so you're taking. One second. <laughs> Six plus a little bit. 46? 6 plus 11 plus and, and 15. Yeah, 46. Hey, LMAO. All right, 46. Okay. How, how, do, how are you feeling now? Actually, not too bad. Because then I only have to take. Oh my god, half. Yeah, well, don't forget your temporary hit points. I know. Okay, so that's that's the Shadow Demon. He's just gonna walk up, slice the crap out of out of Roman, and then uh, kind of stand there for a minute. <laughs> now, Maru, uh, where you're currently standing, you can still see, um, you can still see Urn Rail. Okay. Hmm. At the beginning of your turn, you have an option. You can avert your gaze, at which point you won't have to make the con save. Uh, however, if you if you shield your eyes so that you can't see, obviously you would be blinded until the start of your next turn. Okay. So I will avert my eyes. <laughs> okay, so you are blinded. Uh, so I'm going to move... To here. So I saw him like shield his eyes as he walked into the room, right? Yes, yes, you did. Got it. And then I will attack two times using. Uh... Oh, I forgot my name. The name. Reckless. Reckless, yes. So it's normal. Normal. One. Miss. Two. Second one will hit. And that's my turn. Hey, uh, he's obviously going to stand up. And from where he is standing... Um, first... You see him, he pulls out that, that war pick again, right? And then uh, he, he first raises it and tries to smack Rovin with it. Yep. <laughs> as this thing uh, crashes into Rovin, you can hear a, a loud cracking sound as it booms uh, a, a sound much much more intense that should have, should have emanated from it. Then uh, you see the snakes that surround its head 
kind of lash out and bite at Roven as well. Man, you are just not having a good day. I'm I'm going to parry again. Uh, you've already used your reaction this round, sir. Oh, I have. <laughs> I'm going to use my my shoot. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> so you take thirteen, Roven. And then, uh, still not satisfied, he's gonna hit you one more time, Roven. Are you kidding? Oh, I am kidding. He misses. All right. Uh, I attacked him, so he has guardians. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so he would be resistant to uh, to damage. Is it all damage or just? I think so. I think it is. This is to damage. Yeah, doesn't it specify? All right. So we, now we have to figure out how much Roven took that round. It was 8, 13, 15, 25. With, so Roven gained 12 back, because you should you should have been resistant to Marlos's damage. Yeah. Mass! My nemesis! Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Brother Godfrey. Okay. So uh what would you like to do for your turn? Uh how do I get out of being restrained. Do I make a save or something? Uh, no. Actually, you can't. <laughs> uh, you're Because you're not restrained, you're not being bound, you're being petrified. And at the end of this turn, you're going to repeat that save. And if you fail, you'll be turned to stone. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I I've been looking through my spells. Would freedom of movement affect petrified? Would it ignore? Would like just sh shrug it off then? I'll I'll put out the sheet. So I I can read it in the compendium. You're fine. Um, for duration target move unaffected by difficult terrain spells and other magic effects can either reduce the target speed, cause the target be paralyzed or restrained. I will say if you cast freedom of movement on yourself. You will be able to move or say, look, you just got rid of your spell slot. I told you not to. <coughs> You'll be able to move despite the, 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 you know, hindering effects of the petrification, but it's not going to make the petrify go away. It's just going to allow you to move this turn. But I'll still have to make a save or I get turned to stone. Correct. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, well, hmm. Technically, I I I really can't see him in my field of vision, right? I I that checked your be... vision. You can see him clearly. Uh, no, uh, look, he's right there. Uh, it's dark for me. But uh, either way, would would you allow me to do maybe a guiding bolt at him? Well, yeah. Just... There's no reason you okay, can't. Sure. Eh, might as well do something. Like I'm looking useful. through your token. You can see him. It's post. lit in there. Yeah, strike a pose for your statue. <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> well, you cast in Garden Bolt, you can strike an epic pose. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, they are fucking... Okay. Uh, end of your turn, make a con save. Okay, wait, oh. be, oh, wait, wait, I'll be using Lucky. She used Luck the first time! Oh no! Do, do you have points? Do they replenish on a short? Well... Oh, did, oh was no, it, it was a long. long. It was a long, yeah, you have points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. 15. 15 is a pass. And uh, as you, you manage to shrug off the effects of the uh, petrification. I like to pretend that I didn't know. And I'm still flexing, thinking I'm turning. All right, Pikmin. Um, seeing, so I saw him like briefly start to like freeze up. I saw people averting their gaze. I can probably something's going on. I'm mean, if it's not on the level. Okay. 
uh, I'm going to um, shield my eyes and head toward the door a little. Okay. There. I want to. I want to move there, and then when I know I'm safe, I want to look at that. Look at this guy. Yeah. The shadow demon. And I'd like to banish him. Um, any check that relies on sight automatically fails. So I can't cast this round. You're, well, you're blinded. So then what I'd like to do is I'd like to, with the crow on my shoulder, I'd like to shift um, all of my vision to the crow to see through its eyes. And that's my turn. Wait, uh, so you you use your action to summon your familiar from the extra planar... I, I, I kind no, of it's missed. Just, it's just on my shoulder, so I use my action to look to through see its through eyes. Him. Yeah, so that I'm borrowing its vision. Brings up a philosophy of magic because if you're still okay <laughs> all right uh tapio okay tapio is going to go in tapio uh looking upon the um on the medusa you will have to make a con save and you pass And what would you like to do for turn? I'm going to cast Blight on the Medusa. Okay. I will use one of my legendary resistance to choose this. Well, I should roll first, huh? Maybe I'll succeed naturally. Yes! I will not use my legendary resistance. <laughs> Um, it will still be half damage. Yeah, I know. I took the 20. Okay. Uh, is that uh, all? I'm going to move, so... Okay, that's 15. 25. Uh, that's okay. Alright, and uh, Cranoth, you are still in the field division here. So, need you to repeat the con save? Pass. I will move to here. It does 35. Mm -hmm. And I will... Transform. Transform. This turn. Okie dokie. Roven. Okay, I'm gonna smack the um snake haired person, I can't remember the name. Burnrail <laughs> Smack Oh, smack him you did. I'm going to trip her. Again? Yes. Uh, okay, now I'll use my legendary resistance. He's not going down this time. Um, One left. I'll hit her again. Him, and you failed. Again. Going to action surge. Knock it off. Attack again. Okay, and the second one misses. And, uh... Hope I don't die. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Just as you say that. <laughs> the Shadow Demon. Claws at Roven again. With disadvantage. Why would I have disadvantage? I have to put the thing out. Oh, you're using your reaction for the... Yeah, Peg, uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember which one it is. I think it works that way. I mean, it's not easy. Yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, so this is with disadvantage. 
Okay. He had advantage. Robin, is 17 a hit? Man, oh man, you are lucky. Okay, uh, Maru, are you going to avert your gaze this time? Or are you going to... Yeah, I'm going to avert my gaze okay. and I'll attack again using Reckless. No! One, two. Oof. Nice. Okay, so on the second hit, uh, you see the the man goes down. Uh, as it does, the shadow demon flies forward. Uh, we know that Cranoth used his reaction. The Robin has not. You'll get an AO. Okay. The Shadow Demon flies forward and, and slashes at you, uh, Maru. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Didn't see it coming. So you'll have the Psychic, but you'll... I mean, not the Psychic. The... Wait, does it say Psychic and Psychic? Yeah. Uh, I thought For it did... reason? I thought it did Slashing and Psychic. Yeah. yeah, I mean that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be slashing and psychic. It got borked somewhere. Um, so you would ha you would take six and twenty for twenty six total. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, he is bleeding on the ground. Uh, Pikmin. Pikmin, not Pikmin. You're Godfrey. What am I doing? Uh, I'll see how far I can move in. That's 30. Uh... Is there... Hmm. I... No, I can't. I'll just do a Sacred Flame. Test. And that's it. Pigman? So, I'm going to kind of like slowly walk around because I've still got this shared vision. So, I'm going to kind of like slowly move up here. And I'll... Oh, well, I did. And I'm going to banish that demon. Okay. Uh, and he's make a charisma save? Uh, yeah, Guess what time up. it? Guess what time it is? It's wondrous sighting <laughs> time. Someone is going to get something cool or fun or mysterious. Ooh. I can't wait to DC see. DC nineteen. It it's already gone. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have an hour. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you'll be far removed from this room by the time it comes back. Well, no, I've got a minute, but if it's not native to this plane, it never comes back, right? Uh, which point? Yeah. It's banished. It's been returning to its home plane. Spell. Uh, no. Target. If the Otherwise, spell the target ends doesn't return. before one minute is passed, the target. Re oh, well, and let's see if you maintain concentration for a minute. If it, if your spell lasts the full duration, then it's gone. But yep. if something okay. were to happen before then, like I don't know. Oh no, Pikmin! There's a there's a rock slide in that room. Uh, it doesn't deal any damage, but it it oh, it's hard to concentrate. You know, <laughs> so, something like that. And if something like that were to happen, <laughs> you wouldn't. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Uh, what is everyone doing? Looking at the statues. Drinking a health potion. 79? I haven't... I'm trying to... There's a button. 
Does this guy carry anything with with him? With with aside from, from uh. that war pick? Uh, actually, no, no. The war pick seems to be the you know the main uh, item here. Um, the statues are all petrified remains of uh, what appear to be other Earth cultists or adventurers. And uh, as you look around, um, you can see that the room is otherwise empty. And when you look at Urn Rail, you see his body is starting to almost dissolve into a brown muck. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the war pick, and then I'll go to Pikmin and, okay. and ask him to take a look at this. Yeah, you, you gotta give me a minute. I'm stop. Uh, <laughs> so, so. Push him. Uh, would Push would him. would Maru bothering you uh, to identify his stuff? Would that break your concentration? I think it'd be really hard to concentrate with him. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I focus through combat all the time. I can handle it. An annoying question. Start flicking his ear. <laughs> you just let okay. me know when my minute is up. Okay. All right, all right. The minute is up. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll take a look and identify his pick. Isn't magical. It is magical. Is it not here? I'm going to have to find it. Okay. Um, this pick is but not only uh, magical. It's unusual. It seems to be made entirely out of iron. Um, meaning like it was carved from a single chunk of ore. And when you look at it... Well, let me alter this before I give it to you. Because... That there, you wouldn't know how to do. Um, there you go. That is pretty. It is pretty. Oh my, are, are they all seeing this too? Yes. Oh yep. man, I thought I had a secret. The fog champ. <laughs> you can <laughs> sense the presence of precious metals and stones within sixty feet. I smell gold. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit with it and I'm going to explain that this is a very impressive weapon. It is evil in S. It's very powerful. Um, here you go. And I'll explain to him what it does. <laughs> wow. Sounds powerful. I'm gonna take it. Just depends if you have any issue using an evil weapon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, evil, you were so powerful. About the little cursed axe. Well. No, it's, I, I appreciate that you can be compromised so easily against your values. That's that's a lot of progress. I, I <laughs> Not really. Uh... No, it's fine. Everyone has a price. I understand more than anyone. I personally think it. This speaks to Godfrey. <laughs> that is it true. Kinda does. It really kind of does. It kind of does, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't would not mind <laughs> giving this to 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 Godfrey. <laughs> Look yeah, at the chair. Yeah, suits him well. My my did my weapon. I mean, can you tool wield a warp? Um, no, I don't. It's not a finesse weapon. Yeah, I think you would have to have the uh the feet. 
I do. Oh. <laughs> is it a dex weapon? No. No, it definitely is not a dex weapon. Yeah, I mean, it probably makes most sense to give it to, you know, one of the two bruisers, not the finale. But you do whatever right. you want. Whoever wants to clamor for an evil weapon, I'm just going to take stock of this for now. I say, uh, we have a roll-off for it. <laughs> Throw them D20s. 20s? No, I'm okay giving it to Godfrey. What yeah, about Kranoth? Godfrey can have it. I don't, I don't think it would suit Kranoth's giant style for some reason. So, it's settled then? You can have it. Yeah, you can have it. I'm, I'm sure I'll find something eventually. <laughs> How do we just give the man who's been plotting to murder us a really good? He's probably not going to murder me. He might murder you all. Uh... All right, what else is in this room? Tons of statues? Give me one second. I'm adding this to his sheet. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that is some huge wall of text. Uh, you wouldn't be able to actually benefit from any of those abilities yet, though, because you have to attune to it. Even the plus two bonus? Uh, yes, you have to attune to it. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, attunement means, like, uh... Long, long rest. rest or something? Oh, I see. Or short rest, short rest. You can attune on a short. But either way, can I start using it now? Since my long sword is like has a negative to it, you, I'll just yeah, add a regular. You can use it. We'll just we'll just remember it's a minus two attack and damage until you attune. Or or what I'll do is I'll just add a war pick from the competitive. Use that for now. Well, I wouldn't do that though. I mean, it even though it's not uh, attuned and it doesn't have the bonuses, it still is a magic weapon. Oh, all right, right. I see. Okay. I'll take it. So, Godfrey's I in, just... like, jet black armor with this really wicked-looking war pick. Hey, I just noticed... Slowly that... building him into a uh, an anti-paladin. <laughs> He's full edgelord. Do you reckon if you cut parts off his body, he'll just say it's just a scratch? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, are we ready to continue? Yeah. Yes. Open this door. Magic weapon, you say? <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I test out? Can I try to hit this statue in the middle? Hit the statue with the weapon? With the warping? Yeah. Well, it would just be like a regular like boom because you know you don't you can't access the magic yet. Picture. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going on with your dark vision. I looked through your token, and it's correct. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it's definitely like half range. 
I even I even just reset it just now. Oh, my vision extended. Don't don't forget about the macro. Like you can always try changing your vision yourself. That's what I was trying to do. All right. Um, what are you guys doing? You're listening to the door. Yes. Do a perception check. Is this a map scaling thing, maybe? Perception. I don't know. Well, how far does your vision extend, Pikmin? So, it's 60 and the macro should set it to 120. It, it did? Your token totally says 120. Mm-hmm. So, so where does your vision end? There? Yeah, if you can see my arrow. Oh, I can. Does it end there? And then, you, like, you know there's there's a wall there. Like, it's it wouldn't extend past there anyway? Well, shouldn't it go through into the door that I came from? That's what I was trying to test against. Oh, it's not going past the doorway? Well, it is if I move up. Yeah, it. there's no reason that it shouldn't continue. Maybe it's just having it. What if you set it to 240 and it ends up being 120? And then your token would be screwed up on every other map in the module. Alright, well, let's just not fuss with it then. Okay. Um as you listen, you can hear you can hear uh shouts as someone is giving orders, um rocks and stone being moved and and, and grunting from uh, obvious hard labor coming from the other side of the door. It's the whole party. What? It's everyone where is Godfrey at? Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I like to imagine, like, it, it took me a minute. I was just staring at the picket man. So, uh, great and I'll open the door. I have to kick the door open. The door's open. Um, you can see a Black Earth Priest and several cultists, along with a, uh, Snervil Belm, uh, gnome, that are busy in labor here. The priest turns around and looks at all of you confused for a moment. Says, um, can I, can I help you? Should we talk to them, uh, big man? It's a waste of time. We just killed their prophet. Okay, initiative. <laughs> I got there. All right. Um. So everybody, go ahead and and roll initiative. Ah. And then as as uh you guys burst open, and and you know start hostilities, you see, the uh the gnome. He throws his hands in the air. He says, "I'm not with." And then uh, he he starts to run off towards the corner. Dinner. Oh yeah, I forgot he's strange. Uh, Maru, you'll be up first. Okay, um, I'm going to move to here, and then attack the first cultist using Reckless. Um, that is a dead cultist. 
Then I'll move here and attack the second. Two. Also a dead cultist. And then I'll move to here. And that's it. Okay. So this, this priest is horrified. Because you guys just, you, you know, basically you just showed up and started murdering everyone. Uh, he's very confused at first, and then uh, very shocked and angry. And is going to... Within range, 10 feet. Uh, he's going to run right here. And then it's going to use. There we go. Go orange. Circle. Yes. Yes. Um. And level three slots. Let's use those. So he throws his hands up in the air, and the ground underfoot begins to, to shake and sway as tremors uh, radiate out from the priest. Um, that would be Cranoth, Rovin, and Maru need to make deck saves, and a pass will take half damage. Alright, uh, so Cranoth and Rovin, you are taking 5. Uh, Maru is taking the full 11. And I think there was an additional thing to that that I was uh earth trouble. On a fail, creature takes and is knocked prone. Uh oh, the ground is uh difficult terrain. Okay. Which means I need to put that back. There we go. Alrighty. So that that's what that's what he does. Uh Pikmin. I'ma walk up, I'm a hex the priest, and I'ma shoot him. <gasps> twenty one, twenty seven, uh yep, got him twice. Seven so fourteen, twenty one, twenty seven, thirty two. My that's god. All. Hurt him bad. Robin? Just gonna step forward and stab. And that is a dead priest. And then. Um, Did you say done? Yeah. Okay. So as as you guys are standing here, right? You can see that they were moving these stones and it looks like they're making a a cairn or some kind of uh altar in the far end of the chamber. And um at this point though those stones that they were erecting there, they kind of burst outward and this black gelatinous uh you know thing begins to to crawl towards where Maru is prone uh, at an alarming pace. Uh, the Black Pudding is going to attack Maru. With advantage, because you're prone. <laughs> oh, it, it sent it to the GM layer, so you guys can't actually... Uh, here. I'll copy paste it for you. Maybe this will work. Oh my lord! <laughs> so that is a critical. Um, damage is here. Oh my! Yep. And I don't remember hearing you say you were raging. <laughs> were you raging? Nope. Okay. Okay. Nope. Alrighty. Um, well, that all looks very scary. 
but I think I just remembered something you guys have forgotten. What kind of armor do you have on Maru? Uh, oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm using that uh, adamantium scale. That's so right. I... He has adamantium armor. He can't be affected by criticals. Yep. So it's just a normal hit for 9 and 20. Still 29 damage you're taking to the face. Um, and... Uh, adamantium, although quite nice and fancy, I do believe it is considered non-magical because it's it's a material, which means that uh, you have a minus one penalty to your AC until the armor is repaired. Okay. Still, no crit. Yeah, still. Still, that armor just saved you 19 damage. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's no joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the Snurvel Belm is going to, uh, as I said before, he just kind of runs away from all the combat and hides in the corner. Uh, Godfrey. Piercing no, this, damage. This Lightning or slashing? Slashing. Oh, there are still cultists there. Didn't see those. <laughs> uh, so do I use Iron Bang on this one? Just or... then you just do the yeah. Minus. Just just make the attack. We'll figure it out. Okay, it's a hit for four damage. Yep, that's it. And then we have two cultists. Uh, so one will run. Wait. That's 10, 20, because difficult terrain. After you kind of difficult terrain, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, no, I don't think you did. That way you just counted would be 30. So that would be 10, oh, 20, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30, 40. Anyway, not like it matters. Uh, this guy will run here, and they're going to attack Maru and Godfrey. <laughs> All right, Maru, take five. <laughs> <laughs> And then Godfrey taking two, I think. Nope. Tapio. Okay, I'm going to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, <laughs> 25, and 30. I'm going to cast a poison spec on this goddess. No, you pinged Robin. I'm going to take it there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we already know he failed. And seven will kill. No, it doesn't. Uh, I lied. Okay, finished. Uh, I'll cast Chile on my hand, and that's all. Now, Cranoth, uh, you took the image uh, since your last turn. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, I can't. I can't get through anywhere, can I? Oh wait, this. Ten, twenty. Can I get to there? <laughs> Ten, twenty, twenty-five. Thirty. 30 there. Say thirty-five. Oh no, 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 no! I'm counting wrong. If you go ten, uh, twenty-five, thirty-five. No, wait, what? Ten. 2535 would be there, yeah. Yeah, so I'll go there because I've got 40 and I'll just swing at the, uh, the cult. It's uh, 11. I think that's a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. Oh, oh and that'll kill the cultist. It is um, because yeah, he's the uh, bullet hunter 
hybrid transformation. When he transforms, he gets all these bonuses. Uh, Bloodlust. At the start of your turn, if you've taken damage at the beginning of your last turn, make a wisdom save to maintain control of, of his bestial form. Um, DC equals 10, or it's the same rules for making a con save. Um, it, on a failed save, you must move towards the nearest creature and use the attack action against that creature. Um, you gain control after making that attack. All right, Maru. Uh, Maru will stand up and then first we will attack. It's it's only because he's a werewolf. Cultist. Dead. It's think of it then, like when he's a werewolf, we'll he gets extra the, damage. He gets extra like booting. Uh, he gets resilience in a way that that raging yeah, barbarians do. Uh, okay, hold on. All right, because your first attack for thirteen is going to hit the pudding, and when you cut down through it, uh, I said cold lightning <laughs> slashing. Uh, when you cut through it, um, it splits well no it splits now showing two two puddings ah 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 <laughs> Oh no! Maybe if we keep hitting them enough, they'll split into something really to suit so tiny. If we could just stomp on them. <laughs> Divide by two. Are you finished? Oh, you then you attack it again? Uh, just attack on one time because the first was for the cultist. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yep. And they are still adjacent to me, right? Yeah, they would be like here and there. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. Uh, just in case they are going to rage. Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. And that's it. Pikmin. Uh, move hex to the putting on the top. Both hit. Finished. Oh, wait a minute, he hit it with. Oh, it's a magic button. Just backing up a little bit. Uh, I, for, I neglected to do something. I'm sorry. Uh, Maru, you also take four acid damage when you hit the uh, the pudding. Okay. Control C, Control V, Tarantagash. You can copy and paste uh, things on the layers, just like you know, in a, anything else. Uh. Also. Oh, never mind. I lied. All right, Roven. Move up there. And slash. Acid cold lightning slashing. It's piercing. Uh, yep. You stab and kill the pudding, and then you also take four acid damage. Finished. I'll move um, right there to stab the other one. Okay, uh, it's a hit, and then you take another four acid damage. And I'll stab it one more. And then you take another four acid damage. That's. Pudding time. Here, you get out of here. Blocking the way. Uh, Pudding is going to attack Maru. 
Bloop. Ouch. <laughs> And that would be a, another minus one on your armor. Using his armor magical. Nope, we talked about that earlier. Uh, adamantium is a is a ore. It's not magical by default. Oh. At least that's how I'm interpreting it. All right, uh, dude. He's got his knees up around his chest and he's hugging it and he's got his head down and he's crying. Please don't kill me. Oh no. My brother got free. Iron Fang again. That's okay. such low damage. That's a hit. And you take uh, four acid damage. Ooh. And uh, that's it. Tapio? I'm going to use like a loose plane on the slime, and then I'll move. <laughs> Alright, uh, produce flame, that is a hit. And, yeah, it takes six damage. Kranoth? Did I take damage? No, I don't think you did. Okay, let's uh, change that and attack the, <laughs> the platform. Ooh, slashing damage, huh? Uh, as you cut it... Yeah, but I did it twice. Let's make three. Okay. <laughs> Man, I am really bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, are you finished? Uh, yeah, I took my... Is it four? Does it be reduced by half? Uh... No, it's four. Oh, yes, because you're you're in your form. Yes, it would be it would be um, two each time, so four total. And then, uh, Godfrey, I would imagine that when it splits, it's like the shaving cream coming out of the can. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> <I got it. laughs> All right, uh, Maru. <laughs> okay, uh, Maru will disengage and stand twenty thirty five. Get out of the room, and that's it. For okay, uh, you disengage. Got it. Yep. Pickles? Oh, there's more! Uh, I will hex the top one, I'll shoot it with one ray, ray, and if I need to, I'll shoot the next one. Okay, uh, you hit and kill two of the puddings. Okay, that's all. Roven? Just gonna move back and... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it hits it and kills the Utes. It gives a quiver and before it falls to the ground and dies. End of combat. 
Uh, oh, I should not have cleared the tracker because you took damage, didn't you? Uh... <laughs> Go ahead and make that wisdom save. See if we're going to... All right, let's pass. That was a pass by one. Woot. It's just goblin still crying. That is not a goblin. That is a gnome. I'm going to get to it. That is a Zverf Nublin. I'm going to move kind of in between the goblin and Kratos. <laughs> I'm picking up this note. Put me down! What are you doing? And I'm going to put him on my sh It's not a... What are you... It's a small backpack, right? No, it's... Put it down. Please, please, just let me go. Take him off by his leg and drop him. <gasps> Thank you. I, I think those madmen intended to sacrifice me to that th th thing. And he points to the ooze. And who are you? My name is Rook. I am a explorer. I was uh with a party of other gnomes. We were trying to explore the the fane of the eye. I didn't get to explore that far because I was captured. They killed all my friends. Well, um, I think you're free for now. If you want to leave, dang it, you you know the you know the, <laughs> the, the, the eggs. Pikmin, you don't you're not liking the cut of this guy's jib. Ooh, I think he's lying to me. Sure. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> How about it? I don't know about that. He seems like the type that likes the cult activities here and was here intentional. I mean, he... how do I seem like the type? You literally you walked in and they were trying to to feed me to that thing. That is true. He was in the middle of the giant. Was he though? <laughs> was he what he was like right at the uh the cairn of stones looking around the area you can see other sets of bleached bones are they his size like the traveling companions he said he had various sizes some of them are small you know could have been from a gnome Others are quite large. Humans are, t are taller. So, where did you get captured and brought here? Um, to, to the south of this room, there's a, a set of sto stairs that lead far down. Uh, there's supposed to be an old drow temple. This is where we were going to explore, but uh, we were stopped and captured Beaten and tortured. Does he look like he's been tortured? Yeah. Yeah, he does, actually. He's got wounds and uh, on his body. See rope burns around his wrists. Hmm. <laughs> I don't care what you guys do with him. He seems honest enough. At least some things add up. But if you want to kill him and you know What? No, you can't do no. that. No. Let's let's just let him go. It, he, I, he looks over to Rovin. Surely, brother, you must understand. Did Kranoth just body slam? I don't know what Kranoth is doing. <laughs> I'm not saying I picked up the gnome and hit tried to hit Rovin with it, but maybe. <laughs> what? 
Okay, so you pick up the gnome and you slam him against the ground. For two damage. One damage. No, two. two. Come on. <laughs> Just give him a head. A little tap. He lets out a cry of pain. Ah! Why are you doing this? Pain off, drop him. Poor choice of words there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop him. And I walk. <laughs> is there anything else? Wait, is he, is he running off? No, he's just kind of crying, cradling his wounds. Why is everyone so mean to Rook? <laughs> Uh, he, he, you said you were an explorer, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, anything interesting about this place? I'm pretty anything sure they might be. Ah, uh, I, I, we didn't make it far through the temple here, but like I said, there's a, a staircase to the south that leads to the temple down below. It's absolutely overrun by cultists, but we had heard that. It, it, the 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 cultists are trying to make uh, an elemental node in the dungeon below. They uh, could be the source of all their weird powers, and he he kind of looks away. I don't I don't want to talk about it. It's too too frightening. No, keep talking. You keep secrets from him, and I kind of gesture to crane off. He will eat you. But, 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 but. <laughs> he, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, just keep him away from me. They, they make the, something called a devastation orb. It's supposed to be a, a device of great magical energy. Capable of leveling entire towns. And they tested one on one of our sister settlements. A city uh, full of drow and deep gnomes alike. Instantly gone. Swallowed up whole by the earth. That's concerning. Uh, but it's good to know about that. What? How could you say this is good? <laughs> it's good to know about that, because now that you know that, that, that they have something like that, we can deal with it. <laughs> about the devastation orb, oh, of course, not about your city being leveled to the ground. <laughs> That's how you made it sound. But I'm sorry about your 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 city. Uh, do you know the the exit to from this dungeon? This level we are right now. I mean, he said to the south like eight times in a row. <laughs> I think I think the south thing was something deeper, right? Like deeper, more cultists, <laughs> more cultists. Well, that's where we should go. And here I thought we already cleared the whole base out. <laughs> um, if you travel to the north, I believe there's a tunnel. It it loops back upward towards the surface. Um, there's an iron gate, but the the lock is on the inside. You should be able to use that to get back to uh, I don't know the name, but it's a place on the surface. To the monastery? 
I, I don't know. I've never been. Um. Okay. So, uh, well, show us this uh, this exit, and we'll get you to there, and then you can leave. Um, uh, 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 he looks up to Rovin. Is it safe? You're safe, um. He looks apprehensive for a moment, but then uh, he begins to lead you out of the cavern. Uh, I knock over the cairn for good measure. Oh, okay. Nothing happened? Mm, no, you already killed the thing that was in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three, four, five. Nope. That one. So traveling through here, uh, he takes you uh, northward. Excuse me. As promised, there is a tunnel that leads upwards to the surface. And uh, you see that, that there are also four massive square columns supporting the ceiling here in this hall. There is a giant stone warrior that is in the center of the room. Um but it doesn't seem to uh, activate when you walk through. It is identical to the one that you fought in the east section of the temple, but again, it just stands lifeless staring at you. Well, I suppose you'll be heading up to the surface now? Me? Me? On the surface? Absolutely not! I will be returning back to the Underdark, where it's safe. I do not, uh, enjoy the company of you surface dwellers, and he kind of shoots a scathing look at Rovin. Oh, I don't care either way. You can leave now. Wait, so you'll be heading downwards into the coldest place? Uh, he doesn't even stop to answer you. As soon as uh, Maru said that he can go, he books it. Take a look at this exit to the, the surface before we go back down. It's a long winding tunnel. You can't see the top from here. So we take a <laughs> Should we take a look at this and see where this goes before we uh, go somewhere else? I think we should check it because it will be easier to get back here if we find another antagonist. So we should we would need to get back to the other temple all the time. Yeah, because remember every time you want to travel right now, it's taking you like a week to get back to town. Because you have to go through River Guard Keep to the surface, travel around. Yeah, let's at least see if this guy was telling the truth. Uh, yeah. moving through here, okay, the tunnel goes upwards for about for about a hundred feet. It's a long walk with a steady incline, but when you eventually reach the end of the tunnel, you see an iron gate with a heavy chain on the inside. And it is instantly familiar. You guys have been here before. It is uh, that you found this gate in the slave mines of the Sacred Stone Monastery. And you know that from here you can make it to the surface. Or are on the surface. Oh, okay. Good enough. So the only ones... Who would know the the layout though, Roven and Godfrey? Because 
Maru, Tapio, and Cranoff haven't actually been there. I don't remember the original party comp, but yeah, Roven was there, Pikmin was there, um, but it was, it was Godfrey too. Uh, Tapio would know. He, he's told the party before about these visions that he's had about uh, what occurred before his time here. So I think it, it's realistic to know that he's familiar with the temple, even though he's never physically been here. All right. I'm ready to keep heading on then. So let's go to that stairwell that he meant. Let's make sure this floor is clear first. Yes, this floor is completely clear. You killed all the things. Did we find all the loots? Uh, well, if you have literally searched every room, so... Yes? Brugnorb's still around, right? Yep, Brugnorb is still chilling down in the Brugnorb room. Hey, what's up, gnome? Un unfinished business? <laughs> no! You monsters! You leave Brugnorb alone! Uh, no, all jokes aside, what are you doing now? <laughs> Guess we're heading to that staircase thing, right? Yep. Oh, I Actually, remember this guy. This is where we got the lamp. Yeah, this is where you got the lamp. Yeah, use the lamp. <laughs> I don't think so. So, this is the stairwell. Yep. Yeah. You can see it de It descends hundreds of feet down deep into the earth. Went, went too far. <laughs> I, went, I was shot past. I forgot that there was a blacksmith guy back there. 17, 17, 17. So we're, we're doing this? Uh, I think so. They're okay. descending into the... Fines of the earth. I mean, he he said that there was it was packed full of cultists. Well, uh, as you approach, you see this great chasm opens up before you. The ceiling is thirty feet overhead, and in the middle is this square pillar of black rock and a stone bridge staircase that wraps around and down forever deeper into the darkness. As you approach. The center of this pillar here about where Rovin is standing uh, you feel a slight tremor underfoot and a loud low pitched tone uh, like the groaning of a giant fills the air reverberating off the walls within the chasm echoing through the chamber and, and it sounds deafening everybody make a con save Oh god, I don't know you. Token mod. Okay, so it's incredibly loud. And then, like I said, it kind of bounces off the walls. And you can hear this sound. As it echoes down into the floor well below. Right? It's, it's, it's obvious because of how loud this was and the echoes. Uh, as they move through the chamber everything down below you it would be silly to assume they, they are no, not aware of your presence like stumble against the wall like in shell shock <laughs> oh we did that Yes, yes, you did that. <laughs> I, in my head, I was like, I wonder what they're doing. Oh, that was us. Well. Uh, are you guys going to continue? I'm, I'm sitting, sitting down. Did we rest first before taking the punch? 
Arrest? <laughs> Arrest? <laughs> Party, what are you doing? Godfrey wants to charge ahead. <laughs> no, uh, do we have time to rest? I mean, Maru's pretty hit. One uh, way to find out. Hmm. Let's try. You're gonna try to rest right here yes. on the bridge. Mm-hmm. About in the room with beds. Doesn't matter where. Just roll initiative. <laughs> These guys are gonna learn. <laughs> Am I still deafened? Yep. Oh god. Hmm. What's the CR here? Six. What's an ogre howda? Oh, it's one of those guys. No, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, as you guys try to rest and recover, you can see a, a stampede coming towards you. As uh, another hit squad charges towards the party. Huh. Didn't mean to grab you too. Damn fly! Wait, they're coming from the. not the stairs? From the east. Hmm. Remember, the noise was quite loud. Everything is aware of your presence. But you said we cleared the floor. Yeah, <laughs> and then somebody somewhere sent more stuff at you. Granoth, you're first. I can't actually see them. I can, like... Uh, move to here. And I'll shoot the, the strange one uh, with my crossbow. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm trying to tell yeah. them. Like, they just set off this huge alarm, but nobody's... <laughs> like, there's only so much I can I can do before it's like, well, okay, you advance and there's stuff and it's going to kill you. Okay, um... Uh, make a, a deck save, please. Oh. Yeah, because you have a net. Okay. Um, you're able to to uh, just barely kind of catch your, your weapon and stop it before it jams and snaps its bowstring. Or bowstring. Thank you. Cross bowstring? Uh, Anywho. Somewhere. It's this thing's turn. It is going to uh, charge forward. Stopping right here. And it is very simply going to block the path. So that's what he's doing. He just doesn't want to let you guys leave. Godfrey? I think they're trying to make us go downstairs. <laughs> Tactical retreat? <laughs> just kill the thing. 
No, I'm gonna throw this one hit squad at them, and Can then I'm just gonna let them do whatever they want. Advantage. Huh. But they definitely should not proceed into the fane of the eye. I, also, I can't get into melee range, so I'll just uh, sacred. Uh, what? Is... Let's hope. Eh. Oh no, it took the three. And then I'll, I'll back up, and that's it. <laughs> uh -huh. It's charging. There, we'll just move him there. This guy will move here. And throws a javelin at Robin. Pew. Maru? Okay, Maru is going to step forward. What am I doing? And then he'll throw two javelins at the ogre. Uh, one, two. Okay, second one will hit. And that's it. Roven? To move right there. And it's supposed to be this fan. That's the first step. Okay. Does that hit? I haven't seen you make a roll. I just made two. It didn't. Uh, 14, 11, yeah, they both hit. Oh, you have you have disadvantage. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I forgot to check it. That's just okay. the first. Okay, 15 is a hit. Want to trip it? Uh, what's DC? Sixteen. Yeah, uh, he's prone. So then, would it just be a normal attack? Yes. There's a second attack and a third. And that is it. Eh. Tapio? I'm going to use Shillelagh and attack. That is a dead ogre. Okay, then I'm going to move, and that's all. Pickles? X and shoot. Uh, both hit. That's all. Fair enough. Okay. Godfrey. Oh, wait, he's dead. I thought it was alive. Uh, nope. Wait, so is combat over? No. What are he's you doing for your turn? Well, I can't see it. Uh, I'll ready a sacred flame, maybe? I don't okay. I see the other one. There you go. Okay. 
So the other one emerges from the door to the north. Oh, there you go. Uh, go ahead and use your ready to action. And then he finishes charging, attacking Pikmin. I'll give him disadvantage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you take your ten? Oh, it's temp. Did. Temp. Maru. Maru is going to move to here, grab his javelins, and throw at the ogre again. One, two. And that's it. Uh, eighteen, thirteen. Ooh, wow, hack's gone. Okay. Um, eighteen and thirteen both hit for twelve. And are you raging? I can't remember. Uh, nope. Roven. Run up. Ten, twenty, thirty-eight. Okay. Okay. That's it. Stop you. I'll cast poison spike A on on safe. Uh, dead ogre. Uh, then I'm going to move, and that's all. Uh, let's oh, see in the comment. All right. Uh, now what? Should we take a short rest or? <laughs> no, <I> think... <laughs> we can try again. <laughs> just keep, just keep farming ogres. <laughs> I'm sitting down till I can hear again. So. After a minute, your hearing is restored. I'm. I mean, they know we're coming. Why come half cocked if they're gonna? You know, I don't have a lot of ammunition. Uh, so, I'm going to the bedroom. <laughs> so we're trying again. <laughs> Hey, Grenoff. Uh, we'll try resting for some. We'll go to the that room with the beds. Sure, okay. you guys can take a short rest this time. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Go ahead, roll your hit dice. Okay. Everyone gets 13 temp HP again. Maybe if I embolden them. Speech, speech, Don't make the speech. Wrong decision. Words, words, words. Good enough. <laughs> Do you run out of... Does Eldritch Blast use slots? No, it's or a cantrip. It just something... Oh, that's cool. It's a, it's a spell crossbow. <laughs> no, but I only have two slots if I don't use my extra slots for the day. And if we're going to go fight Earth Elementals, we definitely want to have Banish on deck. Are you attuning to the tech? 
That takes a long rest, right? No, short rest. Oh, short? Oh, sure. It had some stuff about Earth things. Yeah, I'll give you a chance to dominate them. After that, they're gone. What's what's Terran? It's uh, Earth Elemental language. Mm. Contains a spark of evil. <laughs> it doesn't matter when you're all evil, right? Well, I'm not all evil yet. I have, I have a new idea. I don't think we should go to the flop. <laughs> what? What? Uh, <laughs> and what should we do instead? <laughs> Anything else. We <laughs> should go back and, and talk to... to... Ironhead. Okay, I'm back. So we decided to go back to Iron ba Ironhead. I thought the consensus was that <laughs> all of you wanted to go down the temple. Uh, yeah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> Are you you sure? I mean, I already started prepping the map. I mean, I was just gonna train. No, no, no. We are going down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why the sudden change of heart? No. Because they know we're coming. I thought that's why you took a rest, so you could be prepared. Oh, definitely. Prepared to run away. <laughs> 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 I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> Legit, what does the party want to do? Oh, going downstairs. Today, we die together. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm going to we'll give be... everyone a rousing speech about how when we traveled to the Far Realm, we were incredibly lucky because there's a small chance that a pinhole-sized uh, entrance is created into the Amoebic Sea, and no matter what you're going through that... So, you know. Use some imagination to what happens to a full-sized person. I don't want to do, to do that. It's it's not physically possible. I'll I'll, I'll save you the gory details. I think we'll start swinging the moment we head down. I mean, we're not good at stealthing. We have some level of deception we can use, but they're probably not going to buy. Nah, it's not going to work. Sh uh, I'll just... Let's at least look before we leap. Could we possibly get XP and maybe level up? Hell no. Give you XP in the middle of the session. Okay, so you guys descend deep down into the darkness, and as you, you travel for like 10 minutes to get to the pit at the, uh, at the bottom, uh, these guys are ready for them, so let's, let's actually put some stuff so that they're ready. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Doo, those are fire. 
first. Do do do. Do do do. Okay, uh, you guys are walking down into the uh, into the blackness down below. After traveling for a minute, um, the passageway seems to open, and you're standing in a large chamber. And the stairs spiral down below you for another fifty feet before you can see the bottom of the uh, stairwell. As you look. You see that there are a number of creatures waiting at the bottom of the stairwell. And two of them uh, are this. Massive giants standing here with boulders in hand. And as you walk down below, they let those boulders fly at the party. Uh, let's say at... Um, who would be in the front? What is your marching order? I'm the back. Yeah, so it'd be Cranoth, maybe uh, Maru in the front. Cranoth and Maru, uh, you guys are gonna getting these boulders chucked at your face. Okay. Where are we on the map? Uh, Cranoth take twenty four. Maru take thirteen. Top right corner, Rovin. Oh, I see us just from this little square. Yep. All right. Um, we're, not, we're not at ground level, right? You were just like standing. That's right. You're you're still fifty feet above them, on the steps. Okay. So, so. before we before we run down. Well, before anything, you need know. to roll initiative. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> yeah, that, they were waiting for you. Like they're they're ready. I mean, they should be fine. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Uh, looks like Pikmin, you will have the first action. So I don't really see anything, right? I'm just in a box. I didn't realize that box is blocking your vision. Here you go. Oh! Wow! <laughs> now that's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm uh -oh. more scared. Okay. Cool. Uh, so we're on top of a pillar that's... You're what, not. What, like, yeah, you're your... you're walking down the stairs. You're you're fifty feet above these things. Uh, some of the Minotaur are on the steps, advancing towards you. So is the lighter side of the stairs? Uh, it what, like, it how, travels where's this their way. entry point? It travels this way. <laughs> it's like... you understand? Here. Uh... There. Can you see my thing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they're basically below us, and they'll climb up the darker side to the lighter side until they're on this platform. Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm going to drop tentacles uh, on these two. Uh, these two? Yeah. Okay, uh, that is an interesting thought. Okay. Um, because how I need, I need to read it's, is that Evard's? Yeah. Cause if it goes, is it 20 foot radius square on the ground that you can see within range? It means it doesn't move up elevation. And since from this point here on the ground, to this point here where you're standing is 50 feet. That means that this ledge would be minimum 25 feet. 
right? It, here, move your tentacles so you can see. Like you see those those two Minotaur, they're not like on the same plane. Like there there's vertical incline here. Because they travel this you know. Sure. So I'll just block the one that's closest and is advancing on a set. There you the go. One. Okay. So so then if they actually make it uh to to where they could climb up and get on your level, then then they're gonna be traveling through the tentacles. Okay. Yes. Got it. Uh, does he need to make a save now? And uh, he wants uh, to start save. of his turn. Nineteen for ten. All right. Uh, finished. Yep. Godfrey. I'll cast a bless. And who are we blessing? That's uh, four people, I think. Level two. So it'll be... I'll just type it down. Or you can just tell me so I can mark them. All right. That's <laughs> Rovan, uh, Maru, Pikmin, and... Krayna? Okay. So the Minotaur on the top left, if he... I stand on the edge of the platform, he can't reach me, can he? Like here? Uh, theoretically, no. Because there, there's elevation here as well. All right. Then I'll just stand here and uh, end my turn. I need to... Let's say this here would be like flush. Because I, I don't know how to work out the math here because it doesn't... The tooltip doesn't go. Let's say if that's flush and there's a decline, then wait, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's like it's like 13 feet. 13 like 13 feet decline, 13 feet, 13 feet, 13 feet. That'd be around 50. So so yeah, he's he's over 10 feet below you. Guesstimation. That's how it works, boys. Alright, uh Hill Giants, they're gonna throw rocks. They they clearly saw you guys do some spellcasty garbage. They don't like that. So we're gonna throw rocks at Pikmin, and we're gonna disadvantage. disadvantage to one of them. The one that's throwing at me. Uh, they both are. All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so first one disadvantage. It's a miss. That one is not. That is true. <laughs> Take your 24. Maintain concentration. And then uh, after they throw the rocks, you see these giants. They just kind of like walk forward and it's like, like they just kind of like knee put their knee up and they climb over this 10 foot elevation like it's nothing. Because they are, uh, I believe they're roughly it's in the name. 15 feet tall. Um, and then they're, you know, so standing here, they're adjacent. He could probably climb up again if he wanted to. Uh, but he doesn't want to. He's just going to stand here and look menacing. Grr. All right, Tapio. Mm, would I see this? Point if I don't move at all. The the very corner here? Yeah. Sure. You're on top looking down. Why would it why not, you know? Okay, I would like to cast um conjure animals. And let's say half anything so four beasts. Four beasts of CR one half. Alright, let's see what I got in my folder here. Uh, PCs, Ozzy, Andre Animals, one half. Oh, that's our goatee boys. <laughs> so, here we go. Four black bears. Wait, 
What was the bear's name again? I forgot. Barry? Um, as a command, I'll tell them to attack the giants. Okay. And after that, it's Barry the Bear's turn. And they are going to split up and attack two to each giant. Well, two, two of them will attack each of the giants. Okay. Uh, so we have two of each to both. We'll do the, the giant to the left. One hit for seven. And then two to the right. The giants seem completely unfazed by the little bears. They look so small in comparison. And they, they you see them bite down on their foot, but it's just the teeniest, tiniest trickle of blood. It's it's like a, a getting a splinter. Like, it's annoying, and it hurts, but it's not causing a lot of damage. 17, 5, 9, 15. Okay, uh, Maru? Okay, I'm going to rage. Then, I'm going to attack the giant two times. I will use uh, Reckless. So, one. Okay, uh, they both hit. Okay, and then I'll move to here, and that. Okay, this Minotaur starts inside the tentacles, so it is a dex save? Yeah, it's dex, it starts as, and then strength to break out once he's captured. So uh, I rolled 10, and he's restrained. Okay. Uh, and it is going to try to break free. Which it wow. does. Wow, yeah. Okay, uh, so then it is going to move forward. And it's going to kind of run at a diagonal here. Um. This, he will move away from you two here in the front. Well, no, actually, Tapio, I guess he's still next to you. Uh, Kranoth, you get an AO. Kranoth? He dead. Uh, apparently... Um, I'm just going to assume he wants to make one, so I'm going to roll it. Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, okay, so he charges forward, and he is going to attack um, recklessly, mind you. Uh, well, didn't um, he use his action to break out of the... Oh, uh, he did. He did. God, oh, man. You guys and your stupid rules. Uh, okay, so he just he just kind of charges forward. He's like, scary, fear me. Um, Fifteen, twenty-five. I can move a little bit further. I guess Tapio and and uh, and Godfrey, you also can take an AO because he moves to the corner here. I don't know if I would have my Shillelagh on at the moment. Mm, I, no, I don't think so. But it would take far too long to travel down here for it to still be. So you're not taking it, Godfrey. Godfrey, attack of opportunity? He, he, he's on the bathroom. No, he just said he came back. Here. Just got back. Sure, I'll, I'll take it. All right, quick, roll it. Take it. Ah, it's lagging. 
Oh, plus I, I tuned to it, so it should be... Possible. Just roll it! <laughs> <laughs> I did, it's taking a while to load. Okay, there it is. Okay, good. Now he's out of the way. This guy here, you see he walks forward. He looks at the uh, tentacly mess. And uh, these Minotaur, they are also large creatures. So he stands just as tall as the uh, the ledges. So it, it, he could totally just kind of like grab the ledge and hoist himself up. You, uh, obviously climbing, he's going to lose a lot of movement. But he is perfectly able to kind of stand right here. Climbing up, uh, we said it was 13 feet. 13 feet, so that'd be about 25 feet of movement. And then uh, why not? He's, he's going to stand up on this ledge. And he... And he He's going to try and shove Godfrey. Bam! Whoa. Should have just hit you. Uh, wait. What was that? Advantage? No, it's just a regular. Oh, it double rolled. Why did it double roll? Oh, you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 17's a miss, right? Oh, to... right, yeah, okay. Shove. No, not shovel. Grapple. All right, um, I think that's it. For, well, the him. There's still one more Minotaur. And he's just going to start charging. 30. Uh, jumping down to the ground floor and running around. Going to stop here and attack one of the bears because damn giants are taking up all the space. Bye, bear. Okay, and Rovin, it's your turn. I am frightened. Are you, are you frightened? Gonna... Yes. All right, you have disadvantage on attack rolls as long as the object of your fear is in your line of sight. Uh, I can't see. It doesn't matter. You said you're frightened. You're frightened, ha! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hitting that one below me. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, that's a hit. Are you finished? No, my sheet was doing bug buggy stuff. Okay. Last one misses. Oh yeah, that is it. Rain off. Can I walk up to the back of this one and try and shove it? Uh, this is his face and... You oh. could. But I don't think it'll work out the way you want it to. Mm, okay, I'll just walk up next to it and swing it then, I guess. Oh, never mind. Uh, you lunge past an enemy and expose yourself to their attack. Um, enemies that were aware of you are able to form an attack of opportunity, and they will! Well, shit. <laughs> I guess we all fail in this yeah, glorious and, combat. Uh, I, will, I will swing again. And probably not very good. No, uh, that's a hit. No, that's just 11, though, because I'm not transformed. Nope. And okay. that's my turn. Pikmin? So this cluster... I can't freaking find it. There, There is a way to, for me to, like, back away. I've got two Minotaurs in melee, though, right? Yes. Oh, uh, I don't like this. Shoving, um, 195. The one that's closest to me... Well, yeah, okay, I've got one adjacent to me, so I'm going to reach out and shock and grasp. Thirteen? On the Minotaur? Yeah. That is a fail. Uh Oh, bless. 
Okay, roll the bless. 15? And that is not a fail. Hey! Okay. Shoving. Using the attack action, you make a special So I'm going to attack try and uh, attack walk one of them. up away from the other one, no 30 more. feet. I'm, I'm trying to get as much distance between these guys as myself as possible. So then you take one AO. Yeah. Because the other one can't take reactions because of the shock, right? Right. Of course. <laughs> So you're taking a lab, uh, no, 12? 12. Okay, so I'm, I move 30 feet somewhere okay. on this, this so lovely map. An attack. You make strength athletics check contested by targets. Strength athletics, dexterity. Okay. So there's no actual attack roll like I was doing. Um, grapple is still strength and Okay. Uh, are you finished? Yeah, I just... Do, do you want me to put me somewhere, or are we just theater of mind doing that I'm 30 feet away? How are you move 30 feet away? There isn't 30 feet of move. Can I, like, go up the stairs or something? Oh, um, yeah, you could go up the stairs, I guess. Because there is all of that of, of there. Um, let's mark it... Just like we would if someone were flying with our fluffy wing. So you are 30 feet up from this platform, which we will, this platform is going to be the basis for uh, movement here. Okay, are you finished? Yep, that's it. Godfrey. Iron Fang at the, this guy. A hit. And then? And I'll just step over the, here. That's it. Okay. So the giants, um, they pull out their um, their great clubs. They were, they, were, they were always there, but they were opting to scoop down a, a handful of rock and toss it at you instead. Um, this one is going to attack Maru. What? Nice. That hit. A whopping eight. Look at that. Three ones. <laughs> Too small. And then it's going to attack uh, Godfrey. Godfrey, take your 15. Any minute now. Yep, I, I got it. Temporary. Okay, then I need you to make a con save, because it only counts the green bar. For concentration. Okay, and then another one misses. Tapio? I want to use poison spec A on this one. Oof. Already? And then I would like to follow Big Man since. And those cannot attack, I believe. Uh, you're, no, you would be right. Because uh, it cannot take a reaction. So 30 feet upwards? Yep. I'm going to put you guys like here, over up, like hovering over the stairs to show that you're going back up. Okay. Uh, bears. Um, there's four. Okay, 
Wait, why did I do four? There should only be two. Oh, I did. No, because eight and four is a miss. 21 and 23 are hits. Okay, there we go. Which means it would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. There we go. Maru? Okay, uh, again, uh, attacking the giant uh, using reckless. Uh, one. One. Okay. And that's it. Nothing for the crit? Uh, no, I didn't get there yet. You're able to maneuver towards your opponent and continue to attack if you'd like. Uh, you after you attack, you can choose to succeed. Nope, you cannot grapple because he's too, way more than two sizes. <laughs> I can't. I can climb on climb on him. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right. That's okay. Then. The Minotaur. This one's going to here, and then we're gonna attack some people. Uh, let's attack Kranoth, Godfrey, and a bear. Kranoth first, then Godfrey. Godfrey take nineteen, and then dead bear. Uh, you're using the great club for the, the oh that was the wrong wrong sheet hold on great axe there we go so let's let's reroll those uh cranoth cranoth takes 23 this time instead of the zero <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't use my shoot just cause... um uh, I miss Godfrey this time, so Godfrey, take back your health. Um, oh, I see. Okay. And then the bear is still dead. All right, so Cranoth got hit for 23. That can't be bad. Uh, Robin? Okay, I'm going to attack this Minotaur again. <laughs> up, 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 up. You lose your grip as you attack. Uh, your weapon flies into the square beyond your enemy, and that go and it means it goes right over the edge. Meaning, yet your second attack, the rapier plus two, obviously doesn't happen. That's why you shouldn't be overzealous and just roll all your attacks at once. I mean, I got this. Okay. Do you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna action surge. I'm gonna pull out my scimitar. Oh, that's the twenty-three will hit. And then use that for another attack action. Hold this. What? Fair enough. Uh, I'm just gonna swing at this thing in front. Ooh, good swing. Okay. So are you are you berserk right now? Uh nope, because I'm not transformed. Oh, duh. Yeah, that's right. No, I I've only got a set amount of days, so I'm not gonna waste in case this isn't like the okay. thing we find. That's my turn. Pikmin. So I can still see stuff, right? Uh, no. No, remember uh, the description was this long tunnel, and as soon as you breached through this tunnel, um, it kind of opened up and you saw this room. Um, let's put some, some vision there to, so that it makes more sense. Because it would be a very narrow window of what you could see. 
Oh, well, granted, I guess you could just move forward 10 feet, handle your business, and then run backward 10 feet. That's what I'd like to do. Okay, that way, then I don't have to fart around and put anything on the map. Okay. Um, shoot the Minotaur. Which one? Uh, the one that's bloodied. Uh, no oh, hex bloody. damage. Uh, the top one, whatever. Uh, both hit and kill the Minotaur. Okay, that's all. Godfrey. I'll hit the other Minotaur. Yep. And hmm. yeah, that's it. Okay. The uh, hill giants. You see this one. It reaches up. And it's first going to try to hit Maru with its great club. Oof. Yeah, take that. Okay. That would be nine, because you're raging. And then, uh, and then he's going to bonk you again. And take 11. Why is his health not? There it goes. Second one. Uh, he actually kind of steps back. So, um, there would be AOs from Godfrey and Dub Bears. Seven fourteen. He takes a boulder and he winds it up and he's gonna throw it right at the mouth of the tunnel where Pikmin and Tapio are, are standing. Um it does only affect one target, so I have to choose E miney Tapio. Oh, and it's a miss! <laughs> Apparently it just crashes onto the wall of the tunnel next to you. Uh, it's, it's quite frightening, but you are unharmed. Tapio, it is your turn. Okay, I would like to move so I can see this giant. Sure. And then I'll cast Blight on it. Uh huh. So it's gonna take fifteen half damage. Yep. Uh oh. Nope, not Maru. After Tapio should be the bears, but they're. I think I deleted the token that had them in the tracker. Um. So, so I'll attack the hill giants because they haven't received another command yet. This one going after the hill giant. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Those are those are all misses. <laughs> boo, boo. All right, uh, Maru. And attacking again with. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my what? God. <laughs> He's cheating. Is that not an achievement of some kind almost? <laughs> it should be. Alright, Mighty My Mouse, tell me how uh, someone so so small in stature kills this giant. Uh, my, my battle axe goes uh, to his neck. And the first and second hit uh, snap 
b broken his, his his neck and he falls back into the the floor. Okay. Then it is the Minotaur's turn. This one here going to attack Roven for a turn of pace. Nope. Now one down there is going to attack a bear. Uh. Yay, that is a hit. Alright, Roven. I'm going to hit that Minotaur back. Uh, that is a dead bull boy. And where did my sword exactly drop? Straight down here, by the hill giant. I'm just going to... It's only a 10-foot drop, drop, so you won't take any fall damage. Yeah, I'm just going to drop down and <laughs> pick up my rapier. Okay. And um, I'll finish my attack with... The giant, and looks down at you. It's not like I jump off the edge, I just kind of continue walking forward, and I just kind of fall. So, should I give you fall damage? No. Right off. How far down is the giant? Or is he like... You know, I just want to point out, that square you're standing in, <laughs> the tentacles is in that square. But there's no square there. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, you don't do that to me. Um, <laughs> it would be Pikmin yeah. doing that to you. Well, Maru's already caused 23 damage to me. Um, can I run and jump at the jump? I mean, if you want. It'd be, uh, let's see, 20, 13. That's well within your, yeah. Just keep in mind, though, right? This point. Okay, if this point is 13 feet, that is 26, that would mean this would be around 20, like if we split the difference. So then you can attack him, and, and then a after you fall, it would be fall damage. Okay, I'll do that. I'm fine with doing it. Okay, yep. So, so, so uh, describe this to me. Kranov will back off from the the uh, the body of the Minotaur, set himself, and then just sprint and jump at the giant's face with his uh, great sword above his head, and just bring it down as he comes down. Okay, if, all right. If, if he misses, does he keep flying off? <laughs> we'll probably find out right now. Thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, as he runs past, he could raise a great sword and it just stick in the head of Godfrey. I suppose. Well, I, I hate to point it out, but there's also a net one that's been hanging for you for since you bullied that poor Snorkelwhelm. Three. I know, I know. I can't get rid of it because you keep rolling them naturally. <laughs> yeah, I think I think maybe that's the real curse. <laughs> as long as it hangs there on the screen, all of your rolls are terrible. All right, so you run forward. You jump, great sword in hand, and you overshoot the distance and are going to land. Uh, you, you like sail right past his head. Um, now, we said it was 50 feet from here to there to, to the floor. So that's what's going to happen. You're just going to land. Take 19 bludgeoning. But. After you uh, roll and, and kind of tend to your wounds, um, you have not taken an action yet. Okay, so I'll stand up. For, can I stand up for the last half? Uh-oh, well, oh, that's a good question. How far have you moved? Uh, you moved 18 feet. No, wait, you were here. Uh, you moved 12 feet before you jumped. So let, let's say, yeah, you can stand up. You still have 15 feet at least. Okay, so I'll stand up and then... Well, obviously all I can see is his ankles, right? So I'll just swing at that. Okay.
What was a miss? 13 will hit. And then I'll, like, slowly collapse to the back of my song. <laughs> Pikmin? Uh, I'll move as far forward as I need to to see something, and I'll shoot. Okay. Uh, attacking the giant or the minotaur? I'll take the giant. Both hit. Then I'll back up if I have any movement left. Got free. So I can just uh, step down, right? Yep. Like down here. Okay. Yep. Then I'll swing at the giant. Although you know, it's it is a ten foot drop. Like so, instead of saying, "All right, I'm just gonna step down." all daintily you need to say I'm gonna do this you know badass jump with my sword I'm gonna stab it and... yeah, I mean, I teach <laughs> uh, 18 is a hit 17 yeah then that's it or uh no like... are you doing something or not I'll just move down to this corner if it's okay All right, it's the giant's turn. Um, it is going to turn around, and it takes its club, and it just like like overhead like haymaker, like it's just gonna smash crane off, smash Robin, just bam, bam. <laughs> smash crane off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Smash Roven. I'm going to sh shoot that <laughs> Roven. Okay, and then uh, Tapio? Okay, I'm moving so I can see something. Alright. And then... At the giant, I'm casting Dragon's Bite. Failed. Okay, it has disadvantage on the next weapon attack. Okay. And I'll command the bearers to attack the closest thing, uh, closest enemy. Okay, so then this one will attack the Minotaur. <laughs> Good this thing one you clarified that. <laughs> this one will attack the giant. Minotaur, Minotaur, Giant, Giant. 12 and 18, no. 18, 21. For 12. 18, 16. Those both hit. For 15. Oh no. And then Maru. Maru was step to here. And then he'll throw two javelins at the Minotaur. Um, one. And two. Okay, Maru. Once again, uh, you have slain the giant. <laughs> so. No, I no, I said, I said the Minotaur. <laughs> oh, oh, really? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I can't I can take all the glory. <laughs> I was trying to wrap my head around how a mouse's javelin, what would seem like a toothpick to this giant, somehow <laughs> kills it. <laughs> Goes uh, right into the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Okay, uh, Minotaur, it's going to back up. In the back, the bear will have an opportunity attack, but then it's going to charge at, at Godfrey. So. There's an advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, so it just runs up the stairs or something? Why does it have disadvantage? Uh, because of the guardians. Oh, that's right. You did hit it with a javelin. You dirty. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> um. 
10 feet, hits it with the gore, takes an extra 2d8. Hold on, there's more damage. So it's actually 21 damage total. So you're taking 10. And then where's that bear? Wait, where's the bear sheet? Did I move it? Okay, uh, Robin? I'm going to attack the giant. How are you kidding? The weapon slips from your hand as you attack. <laughs> 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 uh, that, that's a sword, not a javelin. I'll, uh, I'll let you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll let you make a check to try and hang on to your weapon, regardless of the roll, because you fumble around trying to not drop it. You're you're not going to be able to continue attacks with it this turn. So deck check, save. All right, All right. You, you keep hold of it. Um, that's it. <laughs> Could have still attacked with your offhand. Crane off, death save! You what? Oh, yeah. That's a... <laughs> you got flattened. Pikmin! I'll walk forward, shoot the giant. All right, so the giant takes this hit from the Eldritch Blast and then falls down to the ground. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You see it. It's like completely enveloped Kranoth. He's hidden somewhere <laughs> underneath this massive fleshy body. <laughs> I mean, look at him. I mean, that I'll definitely a... take that as a uh, death fail because it's impressive. <laughs> that is an absolute unit. Uh, that's all. Oh, I'm going to release the tentacles. I was like, why can't I grab it? And then I remembered I moved it to the map layer. Alrighty. Godfrey. Uh, swing at the last Minotaur. Mino. Minotaur. Not Mino. But you a monster. Okay. Oh, uh, bonus action and all healing word. Uh, can you see Kranoff? Healing word specifically says that you can heal a target that you can see. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> okay. Womp womp. Uh, up you. I'm going to move. And mm, let's say that God was flame. On um, so. The only thing that's left. Yep, he takes nine. Yep. And that's all. Then the bears. Six. Fifteen. Maru? Okay. Uh, I'll move to here. I imagine that I can attack him from here. Um, I got for yes earlier. It, no, you can't attack from here. It's okay. it's twenty feet, twenty five feet from here to there. Okay, so I'll like like just use my javelins. Uh, Curse you, math. One, two. Yeah, this was your chance. <laughs> I'm not jumping. If he if he misses, he lands on the horns. 
<laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> you just give me more horrible things to do to your party. <laughs> uh, yeah, 22 will kill the uh, Minotaur. And that will end combat. Don't, don't, don't uh, clear the turn order. We are not, because Kranoth okay. is still dying. Yeah. Uh, Rovan, what are you doing with your turn? Wait, where is if you don't know, you could ask the party. <laughs> would we know? I mean, I yes. would. I would assume you would, but maybe Rovan wouldn't. He couldn't see him. <laughs> I can't see a general. Trying to be any person <laughs> under the <laughs> yeah. would be would be Rovan because he was on the same level. I was on the lowest level to everybody, and a giant fell on top of me. Yeah, but now since you're not moving. Yeah. How can they see me? They can't even tell, yeah. No yeah. one can know where I am. So Rova's just swinging his head around. Where did he go? I heard a great crash and he's gone. <laughs> I mean, even if I did know, I can't exactly do much. Okay, well. Um, that's it. Pray not. Death save? Oh! Does Bless persist on, on death? <laughs> well, it, yeah, but does Bless, bless effect saves? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that means that would be a pass, because with Bless, it's, it's 10. Does Bless count for death save? That's a good question. I think it does. All right, uh, Pikmin? I'm just going to start walking through the pile of corpses and have a potion. Uh, Brother Godfrey. Aha, uh -huh. Iron Pang has tremor sense. Would I be able to sense him writhing on the floor? <laughs> no, that's the same reason that uh, that that he can't sense him. That he's not moving. Well, I, hmm, I did see him. Yeah, you saw where he is. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Oh, okay, okay never mind. I, like, I like I you could literally see him jump through the air, land, and then get crushed. I'll, I'll try to dig him out. <laughs> All right, strength check. Athletics if you're proficient. Athletics. Dig through his fleshy undercarriage. <laughs> oh no! It's at least ten because he's blessed, right? No, no, I, I didn't cast it on the. Yeah, he's, he didn't bless himself. Oh, you were struggling. So all of you guys can see him kind of struggling to lift a giant off of Cranoth. Uh, he's a, under here, guys. A new danger has presented itself. Even if Cranoth were to stabilize, uh, I would imagine there's not a whole lot of air in there. <laughs> So he will stabilize and then <laughs> well go back you to can't it. you can't stabilize while you're suffocating. Mm. Uh Tapio? I guess I would go down. Uh what uh, how high was that fall? Each each jump from one to the other is 10 feet. So you can drop 10 feet run over here and then drop it's fine. Okay, Tapio is a quite weak boy, but he will take I to help Kagenoth. That is not sufficient. Okay, I guess that's all. Oh, whoops. Maru? Maru is going to... Move to here and drop down to here, and then he'll try to to take train off out of this pico. Dig. Okay, athletics. Oh, okay. So this teeny tiny little <laughs> mouse, <laughs> he walks up and he pushes. <laughs> he can't. He can't quite lift a giant. That would be impossible. But what he can do is he pushes 
the the flesh <laughs> out of the way enough that you can almost see like a little tunnel, you know, just a little mound where he's forcing him up, and you can see Kranoth's hand is sticking out. Uh, Maru is a is struggling, but he'll be able to hold this for a few seconds. Robin. <laughs> I'm gonna come down and help try to get Crane off out. Help? You're taking the help action? Just pull him out. I'm gonna pull Crane off out. Uh well, I don't know do you know where Cranoth is? You can't see him, and nobody has alerted you to his location. You know, I think you're right. <laughs> Ask if, if Maru had shouted like, "He's over here!" <laughs> I'm just seeing what's everyone doing. I just kind of came down. Ha <laughs> uh... ha! Finally, being blind has hurt you. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Right. So you kind of ru run forward. You can hear Maru struggling. So you're able to find. The little flesh tunnel. This, uh, you're able to find your way through the giant, right? Um, whether or not you'll be able to locate Cranoth and pull him out, let's, let's just roll any dice, any dice. Odds you can't find him in your blindness. Evens you'll able to, you'll be able to grab his outstretched hand. Ha! All right, so you grab hold of him, you pull him out, and and he is free from underneath. The uh, the giant. Cranoth. Make a death save. How many spells does he have? Ah! He was at two and two. Oh, no, he wasn't. Because of one. Okay. He's fine. Alright, we can clear the tracker now. Since he's no longer in any danger. But wait, uh, so you you pull him out. You could see a, that he has a strong and steady heartbeat. However, you hear more shouts of raised alarm coming from beyond the door. It sounds like another wave of defenders is coming towards the stairwell. And you can hear the thud of heavy footsteps as they approach. I'm going to use a potion on... Uh... Use a potion on Cranoth, okay. And then? Uh, shall we re re retreat? Retreat? What's around the... This I area? don't know. It's a door, so... I don't want you guys to have them. Is there no other way around? Because if not, the only thing I could see doing is going back upstairs. I mean... Um... Didn't Sounds are getting closer. They'll be on you any second. Do one of you guys have a dimension? I, there's no. I, there's no point in leaving. Just prepare to for siege. Handing them each a potion, taking one myself. I'm going. I'm. I'm holding an Eldritch Blast for if I see something. Everyone, roll initiative. No point in leaving. No point. All right. Now I got something better. Uh, everybody in the tracker? The door opens. Um, put them in there. And you see 
a terrible sight. Looks like Minotaurs, but their their skin is a is a, a vibrant red, and and they are coated in heavy armor, and you can see that they are are breathing flame, as they come charging towards you. Uh, you can use your held reaction, Pikmin. At disadvantage at the sudden shock of uh, these these gouts of flame. Hey, you still do, hit it. do they admit light? <laughs> nah. The, the flames only last for a second. All right, uh, Cranoth, you have the first action. Uh, transforming. What? Transforming, and that's it. Okay. Think when it's your turn again. Uh, I'm going to throw a yellow sign in the middle of all of them. Oh my god. Okay. Um DC DC 20 was it? Uh 19. Okay. One pass it looks like. It's going to be this one. And I'm just, uh, I'm backing up around the side of the stairs and kind of like trying to have like half cover so I can keep an eye on things, but, uh, you know, it's covered. Okay, Roven? I'm going to move up and shoot it with Shorpo. The bottom one. Yeah, uh, both hit. And that is it. Stop you. Okay, so I should be able to see more than that since that's 60 feet. On my screen, you can. Like my you... vision stops at this point yeah we know it, it's it's all screwed up uh would you mind if i move, move my token to see the, well if you could see here like that's the full room like oh, there's that's yeah see, look ah okay so i would like to cast tidal wave and i'll take the I'll find the AOE. Okay. And oh, there it is. Uh, I save a dex forty eight, not prone. Okay, so deck saves from one, two, three, four. Do fifteen, that one saves and takes eight. Alright, um you can see that these creatures are much too big and sturdy to even be to be knocked over. Um the water crashes into them and you see them uh, just kind of steady themselves and absorb the brunt of the attack. Okay, I'm going to point at them and yell to the bears that they should attack them. Oh, they... I don't think they did initiative. Okay, they're right about where they should be. <laughs> And then I'll move, and that's all. Okay. So these guys, they are just going to just start charging in. Of 
First, this guy runs right here. He's barreling right past Robin. The answer is yes. This guy is going to run in this way, stopping here. Oh. There. There. Would you still be raging? Um, no. It would have taken more than a minute to dig out, uh, to dig out. Right now. There we go. Making okay. words. These three are all going to dodge. Oh, no. Oh, in that case, uh, blesses down. Okay, go ahead and remove them from yourselves. Um, so the Minotaurs all run forward. And the one up here is going to use its Flame Breath. And it's going to target over the Bear and Godfrey. Need you to make a deck save. Godfrey? Yep, yep. No. Godfrey, you take 24 fire. The bear takes half at 12. So it's just cord Tapio. It is done. Uh, this one over here, there, it's gone anyway. Yeah, it's gone. This one over here is going to attack Cranoff, uh, with a gore. That is a hit, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, um, because it charged and hit you with the gore on this turn, you're going to take an additional 2d8 and I need a strength save. All right, so you pass, but you are taking another 7. So, total of 22. Total of 11. Why 11? Transformed. Oh, Unless okay. Yes, you are transformed. Nope, transformed. You're fine. Um, then we have three that charged Robin. First one. Robin takes 17. Oh, wait, I need two more. That is a total of 29, and then you need to make a strength save. Uh -huh. Okay, second one, also with the gore. 16 miss. And 8 is a miss. Maru! Uh, I'm going to rage, and then I'm going to attack the Minotaur two times using Reckless. All right, and this is the Minotaur directly ahead of you? Yes. Uh, both attacks hit and kill the Minotaur. Okay, then I'll move to here, and that's it. Bro. Bears will charge the Minotaur and attack. Wow, they barely did anything. You're dead to me. <laughs> okay, and Godfrey. I'll I'll hit the 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 one in front of Hit. Uh is he dead? No. 
No. Okay, I'll use War Priest as bonus for another. Fingers crossed. Uh, that will kill him. Yay. Then I'll uh, uh, back up, go back up the stairs. Crane off. Move Let's prepare here, the next wave for I'll when they don't run. One that eat. This is at the one directly ahead of you. Uh, one both, for each one, that one, one. both, uh, the first one will hit. I'm sorry. So that one doesn't get hit, but that one does. Yep. And that's my time. Okay, uh, Pikmin. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the bloodied one on top. So that's 19. Okay. Robin? Going to attack one right below me. <laughs> You're good at this game. I know. <laughs> You lose your combat footing and expose yourself to your enemies. They have advantage against your attacks. Uh, I'm sorry, advantage on their attacks against you in the next round. For a minute, I thought you were going to say I lose my grip, and that was good. <laughs> I thought about I thought it. To quit. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Uh, it's a hit. And then pray. Happy also has a turn. Okay, I'm going to move. And I'll cast a new tidal wave. No, knock it off. Uh, yeah, that's going to get all of them. And Robin. <laughs> Robin, you make your deck save first. That is a fail. Take 20 and go prone. <laughs> uh, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's the DC? 14? So I have two fail two two passes? Two passes. And then takes twenty and dies. Takes twenty and dies. And ten. Takes twenty. Not dead. Takes 20, is not dead. Okay. The Minotaurs. This guy is just going to move right here. And then he is going to do a thing. Fifteen foot cone. Okay, so the three of you, uh, deck save. All right, obey the mine. And failed and passed. And passed. So, Maru, you're taking the full 26? Are you raging? No, oh, even if you were raging, it don't matter. Uh, yep. 
Okay, and then Cranoth looks like you take thirteen. No, less, because you does your does your feral form does it only prevent uh you take half damage from bludgeoning, slashing, piercing, or is it all I can never remember. This is your resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage from and damage from non magical weapons that are not silver. Okay, so so you are taking the full here because it's fire. Thirteen, yeah. Um and then Tapio Oh I see. That's uh you took your thirteen and then the thirteen is for maintain contra animals. Got it. Yep. I'll put this over here because I think I'll need it again later. Uh after doing that, this guy is gonna move right here. Provoking an opportunity attack from Roven if he chooses to accept it. I do. Oh yeah. Nah. You fool! Okay. Now this guy is going to run right past Rovin because he can't do anything about it. And then uh, he's going to gore Maru. Does gore class as a weapon attack? Or is it... It is, it, uh, it is a weapon attack. <clears throat> so you have disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, um, this guy is going to run forward. Right here? It's got to stand right there. And let me grab this. Oh, hey. Look, it's that thing again. He is also going to use his breath weapon. <laughs> uh, Tapio passes. Maru... I can't remember what the DC is, but I think 13's a fail. 13's a fail. Check. Yep, it's a 14. All right, 31 to Maru and 15 to Tapio. And then the last one here, he's just going to gore Rovin. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> With advantage. With advantage? You said that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You, they all have advantage. Grown, yeah. Oh, oh, and I'm, prone. I'm gonna gore you good. Thank you. Oh wait, I'm gonna use a reaction. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody needs to try her. What was your reaction? Uh repo. Serious. I'm trying to Okay, uh attacking the Minotaur in two reactions. One. I did already take it. You AO'd, didn't you? Yeah, yeah you did. I forgot. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, attacking which one? Top or bottom? Top. Okay, it's a hit. And uh, we'll attack again. And that's it. Oh, uh, bear. Up down here, and they're going to attack. I'll miss. Got free. Bad Bruce. Godfrey? Oh, sorry. I, I was I was trying to think of what to do. Uh, that's 15. Then I'll... I'll just go... Uh, That's a miss. Mm -hmm. I'll uh I'll use my channel divinity, so that's plus ten. So it's isn't that on a uh, melee weapon attack? It says make an attack roll, so I don't think. 
If if it only says attack roll, then yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah, just attack roll, yeah. I'm aiming at this one, next to Rover. Uh, um, you made this choice after you see the roll, but before the DM says if the attack hits or misses. Uh, I knew 11 was going to miss anyways. But that okay. Count? It's all right. 15. Okay. Hey, which one? Thank this you. in the back? No, no, no. The, the wounded one in front of Robin. The he... one in the right in the middle. Okay. Still nice. up? Oh, no. Yes, he's still up. Okay, I'm running back. <laughs> Renoff is dying. Oh, was he? Dang, I forgot. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I should have healed him, sorry. Big one. I'm around the corner and see Godfrey running away. Get it back in there, man. <laughs> I'm gonna throw, uh, I'm going to hit the lit up target first. Uh, 19. Is he still up? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, how about that one? 13, 14. Uh, yes. Anything cool for the crit? He explodes. I'll take it. <laughs> no, uh, after your turn, you move to the top of the initiative order. Woo! Woo! You get to go one turn quicker than you did before. Robin? Gonna... What size are these creatures? Large. Yeah, I'm gonna hit Superior dice and trick them. It's a good idea. It is a Ooh. good idea, you know. Oh. Then I'm not tripping him. Done? No. No. Both miss. Oh, no, wait, 27. What am I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> and that's all. Tapio. I'll cast healing right on Kagainos. And poison spec hay on the one at the top. He dies. And that's all. Okay, uh, this minotaur here, and a loop around. Why would he do that? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, at least he's uh, attacking the other bull too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The fire damage really hurts the fire breathing bulls. <laughs> Uh, so, Cranoth, I know you got healed, but, you know. Wait, did you get healed? Yeah, you got healed for seven, but... Yeah, so you're... he will go down. Good night. Reset those death saves. That dip, dip. Uh, Tapio is gonna take eleven. And the bears disappear. Oh, no! And, oh, Maru is also unconscious. And then... This guy also, he does need to make a save. But she failed. Put this back over here for now. And then, this guy 
is going to try and attack uh, Tapio. What am I doing? Alrighty, it looks like you're taking 18, and then it'll be Maru's turn. Godfrey. So I, uh, I brace my <laughs> then I do. Uh, I think I can reach the the guy on top, or maybe the one at the bottom. I'll just run and do a jumping attack. Okay. Yeah, I think I can reach this one with thirty. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, as I'm running in, I'll do a mass healing word. That's a bonus, so I'll. Turns always take forever. Eh. <laughs> so that's six to everyone? Everyone you can see, yeah. And I'll a take hit. That. Then that's it. Pikmin. Where are these going? The top one, I guess. Eight. Twenty-one. Okay. That's all. Great enough. I'll stand up and I'll swing at the top one. Two hit. That's my turn. Rowan. And dead. It's the end of combat. Oof. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> uh, enjoy your victory. It is short yet fleeting, because as you stand catching your breath, you hear the, the chattering of more creatures coming from the south. Yay! I, I, think, I think we should leave. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? Leave it. <laughs> I mean... We'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to kick Godfrey off the stairs because he wants... <laughs> he almost let me die. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you guys don't want to fight the uh the creatures i had specially brought up for you well if you let us have a, a long rest we can <laughs> sure if you survive this i will let you take a long rest uh, okay uh, but you guys can do what you want i'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's leave Okay. Then I think there might be a good place to stop for the night. Yep. Alright. Oh, before I go, I, I bet you want experience, don't you? Yes. Can I give him experience? Yep. PX. No. <laughs> so let's see here. There were seven. How much do, does, do I need? There were three regular Minotaur. Oh, so that's another 2100.
two hill giants. 3,600. Two ogres. One battering ram. Cultus. One black pudding. One priest. Seven hundred. And one duder. Thirty nine hundred because he did not have lair action. You're a pooter. Get ready to book a hotel. Okay. All right. Um. Eight point zero zero divided by three thousand sixty six experience for everybody. All right. Uh, thanks for coming, hanging out. Hope you uh, enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already. Join us in the Discord. That's where we hang out all through the week. It's also where we organize our games. And if you want to get involved in a game or learn to play D&D, &D, that's where you need to be. Uh, also, check out the schedule so you can see all the days that we play on this channel. And come back and join us in like an hour and a half over on Encounter Roleplay for the Heroes of Fate. Uh, I'm Daddy Warbucks. I will see you later.